Hello everyone. So this is just a quick review, uh, view of how to um, treat your wood. Spoons and stuff. Now's the time. I use, I'm use. i just got regular uh, vegetable oil I'm using right now. And then I treat it. I just rub it in really good with a washcloth on the wood surfaces. And then I store mine in a crock pot, can you see? Which, this is what brought me to this uh, reality video of this. <laughs> uh, somehow, one of my olive oil containers got stuck on top of the fridge and it tipped over. How long it's been up there, we don't know. Uh, last night I pulled the container down and it was like, what? Ew, what is on the, my counter? It could look wet. Oh, it was oil. So, Santa's feet, my cooking Santa's feet, got it. My cookbook. All oh, the bottom of this, uh, these containers. So, yeah, husband cleaned it, but now it's just like, um, so it's just like, ugh, like somebody melted candle wax up there. So, like I said, I just take it, dip the cloth in, kind of wipe it off a little, and then you just kind of rub it in. Now's the time to check and make sure that you're, uh, see if they need to be sanded, or if you've got any cracks. My table was clean prior to this. So, this one just loves the oil. And this is what's treating your wood so that it doesn't split. You know not to wash it in the dishwasher, right? Because what happens? Bad things. They split. It's not good. Uh, some people use mineral oil. I need to come all out. You can use whatever you want. Just treat your wood so that it... And then you just kind of rub it in really good. This is how I've done it. 52 years old, this is the way I was taught to do it. So, uh, to disinfect my woods, uh, mother would boil her vinegar water, <laughs> and all of a sudden she'd be throwing all of her wood handled stuff in this pot, big huge pot of boiling water with vinegar. Oh, the house stunk. Oh, vinegar. And then she'd take them out and she'd put them on a towel, pat them dry. And then she'd have her file, a little sand file. And if one felt ragged, she'd file it down and stick it back in the pan and rinse it off good. And yep. That's how she did it. I just, I try not to... Um, like, see this here? I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of bumpy-like. If I had my file, I would file that down, but I don't. But um, my husband will take these down for me. I, I take them and put them in the garage about maybe once, twice a year. And uh, he treats them really good. He'll file them, fix any cracks that need to be fixed. It's very good with wood. And then he treats them, and I don't know, I don't know if it's mineral oil he uses, but he uses a special oil for them. This is just kind of like a little wood treatment to get them until it gets to that point. But now you can expect them and make sure everything's okay. And you don't want to leave a clob on there. See? That's it. Now I just got this big pile to go through. So yeah, we don't know how that happened or what the heck's happening. See how nice and smooth that one goes on. He just smoothed that out really nice for me. I love my wood, wood spoons. That's for sure. Uh, the La Crescents, I paid good money for those. And I'll tell you, they're worth it. They're worth every penny. But here's what you don't know. See this? 
and take that off. Let me treat that. Make sure there's no food caught up in here. And you clean that. I just did this, so that's why it's not dirty. And then you just slide it back on tight. That's it. A lot of people don't know that you can do that, like with your normal spatulas. Whoa, let me knock oil out of the way. You take your cap off and clean them. Make sure they're good and clean. It's a good way to do it so that you know that they're done. Wipe off my uh, mess of oil here. All right. So anyways, this is how you do it. I got oil on everything. That was kind of a good tip, right? My older ones are so smooth. Paper shop is another good knife or spoon. This is a bamboo one. So just why we're chit chat. Don't think I don't use that one enough, huh? <laughs> yeah, but when husband fixes that though, you won't even see that there. Just by his sanding and doing his magic. Sometimes it's not easy to get them off. And yeah, you'll get oil all over the table. You'll have an oil mess, but nothing that no uh, hot soapy darn dishwater can't cure and a little bit of uh, vinegar spray. See, that's not dirty. And just push it back together. This is how you can make it a lefty or a righty. I'm a righty, so let's turn that way. If you're a lefty, you flip it the other way. Say, people with left hands, oh, I don't get it. They don't make left handed stuff. Well, they do. You just got to turn it around the other way. This is a nice gold one, too. Look at that beautiful. I think that's uh, walnut. So that's how Angie does her one. Ouch. Oh, never put that fork up that way. So that's it. I just thought I'd bring you along and show you what I had to do today. Take care. And as always, have a great, blessed day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.